welcome to another video of this series of implementing the live project by Bharti DW Consultancy. Up till now, we have created a framework manager more model. We have created database layer, business layer, presentation layer. We also published our first package, BDCS sales project package onto the Cognos server. We come back to this area, back to the framework manager to create aliases. At this point in time, please recall that our model was a star schema model. At this point in time, we're going to create a, an extended star schema model, which is, which is known as snowflake schema. So right click, we have to import another table from the database, which is customer type category, which is then be joined with DCUS table. So right click, run metadata wizard is an option to bring in new tables from the database, which are not already in the framework manager model. Go to data sources, click on next. The same thing, we are going to use the BDCS sales new. From the tables, we are going to bring in customer type category. Say next. Again, we are not going to use the primary and foreign keys. Import. This time, the count is only one. And say finish. So this customer type category can be joined with the customer type, the customer type here to customer type here. To create a join, again, we are going to use the relationships and we are going to join like this. One is to one, that's fine. And say test, it's going to create a relationship and say test and click on OK. You can see that a join is created and this model is no longer a star schema. It's an extended star schema, which is the snowflake. Another component of this, I can move the tables like this, obviously. So remember while doing our initial joins, I connected the decal to the date sale. I'm gonna create an alias of decal and I'm gonna join with dproc. So I'm gonna select this table decal, use the control, I'm pressing down the control key and I'm gonna drag and drop this table over here and then it's gonna create a copy of decal. I'm gonna rename this as decal proc which is processed and just to be consistent I'm gonna rename this to decal sale so that I know it's connected to the sales date and this is connected to the so this is connected to the sale date which is good this also is now because we copied it copied the joins over to and I'm gonna double click the link and change the date to date proc so now I have this star schema model with two calendars one for the sale and another for the proc as we have brought in the customer type category in the business layer we have two options we can create 
a new query subject as customer type category and add the columns from the database in the dcast sorry not the dcast but customer type category I can add all three columns here so this is gonna create two different query subjects for the same function of information which is customer this may not be the right method as I said in the business layer you can create multiple model query subjects but you don't want too many model query subjects for the same kind of information so I'm not gonna create the customer type category here but I'm gonna merge the customer type category in the customers dimension so I just double clicked the customers query subject which was already existing and from the database layer I'm gonna bring in the customer type category please remember that the customer type already exists so I'm gonna just bring in subcategory and category go to the query information and say test you can see that this join which you created in the database layer is carried forward in the business layer and this was the reason you don't have to create the business layer of joints in the business layer also so click on test and click on test sample click on validate and there you go you are done so you see these two added rename this to business names so we rename these two tables of uh, columns customer subcat and cust category please remember that once the tables have been created uh, and changes have been made we need to republish the package so right click publish packages it's gonna override the package which is already present on the on the system on the server and this is all set to be to be moved to the next step in the next stage we are going to create dashboards and reports as what we have mentioned in the requirement documents and we will see how you can come back iteratively and change the framework manager model in order to suit what you require for reporting purposes keep watching this series